Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, I've got a different kind of video for you. It's not going to be a collector video. I'm going to talk to you about uh, World War II TV series that I used to watch growing up as a kid. I got uh, six of them here, so uh, most of you probably seen them all. And some of you, all the, all probably the newer guys, young guys, probably never heard of some of them. So I'm going to. Uh, I've got some notes written down here, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about each one of them. And uh, I'm going to show you the introductory theme song and the introduction to each one of them. So let's start off. The first one's going to be Mikhail's Navy. Okay, the first one here is McHale's Navy. It's a comedy show about World War II. And uh, it's an American sitcom starring Ernest Borgnine. And it uh, was uh, four seasons long. And it aired from October 1962 to April 1966 on CBS. It had 138 episodes. And it, uh, they were each uh, half-hour episodes. Uh, during the later part of the series, they moved to uh, Europe over in Italy. I, don't, I really didn't care for those. I, I like the ones that when they were in the South Pacific. But uh, it's about the crew of a PT boat, PT-73. And uh, they were always getting in trouble. And uh, there was a guy on there named Gruber. He was always, uh, he was always the guy betting, making bets, and uh, making moonshine and everything. And uh, their, uh, the base commander was Captain Binghamton, and uh, they called him Leadbottom, and he was always trying to catch him in the act so he could arrest him. And uh, they also had a Japanese POW they were hiding, and he, his name was Fuji. And uh, they, uh, they used him as their cook, and it was a very funny show. It don't matter how many times you've seen the, the episodes, you always have to laugh at them. Because, you know, it's so funny. Matter of fact, I've got it on the TV right now watching it. All right. Uh, the next one will be The Gallant Men. The Gallant Men. Starring Robert McQueenie as Conley Wright. William Reynolds as Captain Benedict. Robert Ridgely as Lieutenant Kimbrough. Richard X. Slattery as Sergeant McKenna. Eddie Fontaine as Private D'Angelo. Roland Lestarza as Private Lukovich. Robert Guffey as Private Hanson. Roger Davis as Private Gibson. All right, uh, The Gallant Men. That was a black and white TV series. And uh, it was made in 1962 to 1963. And it was the uh, ABC Warner Brothers TV series, which depicted an infantry company of American soldiers fighting their way through Italy. Uh, in the pilot episode, they had landed in uh, Salerno, and it was a, a fictional landing spot where they landed. And, and it was uh, Able Company, the 36th Division, 5th Army. And it takes place between 1943, September of 1943, through the spring of 1944, but it only lasted one season, had 26 episodes, and it aired from October 1962 to March of 1963, and they were one-hour episodes. But it was a it was a really good series, well well done. And uh, the thing I liked about it was they they incorporated original combat footage from World War II into the TV series, which which I like. That that's what I like to watch, original stuff. It makes, makes the shows a lot, look a lot better. All right, now, coming up now is Baba Black Sheep. All right, now we're going to talk a little bit about Baba Black Sheep. And uh, it was based on a true story about the Black Sheep Squadron, VMF 214, commanded 
the commander was uh, Major Gregory Pappy Boington. And uh, after the TV series, which lasted two seasons, they had an interview with two of the real Black Sheep Squadron pilots, and uh, they were uh, asked if, uh, let's see here, if how accurate the show was. And uh, uh, the one guy said there was two things very accurate about it. One, we were the 214 Black Sheep, and second, we flew Corsairs. But other than that, it was just Hollywood bullcrap. And uh, it aired for two seasons from September 1976 through April 1978. And uh, season one had 23 episodes, and season two had only 13 episodes. And uh, for me, season two really sucked. And uh, I think that was the downfall for the show because they had uh, nurses coming in, and then they had this stupid kid come in. He, uh, he was supposed to be like 16 years old, and, and uh, this was supposed to take place during World War II, but he had his hair parted down the middle, his hair feathered back, down over his ears. And it, just, it was just crappy the way they, they did that. I think that ruined the show. And he was a bad actor anyway, and his father was a real Hollywood actor, so that, that's what got him to port. And uh, this started Robert Conrad, but, but as a kid, man, I just absolutely loved this show because you can see a lot of good flying, the Corsairs flying in, the, in this series. But, uh, and uh, I was in the Navy back in 1982 to 1985, and uh, 1984, we went up to Bremerton, Washington for aircraft carrier overhaul. And uh, while I was up there, I had a uh, weekend liberty one time, and I went to an air show, and there was the real Pappy Boeington there. He was signing autographs, selling his book, and uh, selling pictures with autographs on it. So he autographed uh, his book for me, and I bought a squadron uh, picture and had him autograph it to, uh, directly to me. And I still got that to this day. It's hanging above my fireplace in a nice frame. But, yeah, like I say, man, I just love this show. It, it's a shame that second season had to suck. All right. Uh, let's see. The next one, we'll be talking about 12 o'clock high. All right, the next TV series was a TV series called 12 O'Clock Hot. It was all in black and white, and it was, a, it was an American series about the air war in Europe. The series follows missions of a fictional non-18 bombardment group and, uh, of the Army Air Forces flying the B-17 Flying Fortress. And uh, they were stationed in Archbury, England, and uh, I think that was fictional where they had a, an air base in Archbury. But it, it aired for three seasons, from September 1964 through January 1967. They had 78 episodes, and you can still watch every one on YouTube. And I, I watched a lot of this, too, because it and it's, has a lot of good flying in it, and uh, actors are really good. And uh, Robert Lansing, he played General Savage. He was my favorite character on the show, but he only lasted one season. And uh, Paul Burke took his place. He played Colonel Joe Gallagher. Because uh, from what I read about the show, uh, they wanted a younger uh, commander of the squadron. So they had uh, General Savage killed in one of the episodes. So Paul Burke took over as uh, he got promoted to general and he took over. All right. Uh, the next one we'll be talking about will be the Rat Patrol.
All right, now let's talk about the Rat Patrol. I love this series. I still watch a lot of it on YouTube. And it aired for two seasons. It had 58 episodes. And it aired from September 1966 to the end of March 1968. And it's about three Americans and one British soldier who are part of a long-range desert patrol group in North Africa, riding in Jeeps with 50 calibers mounted on their Jeeps. And uh, uh, their mission was to attack, harass, and uh, uh, wreak havoc on Field Marshal Ramos' Africa Corps. That's a great series. And, uh, but one thing about that series, every German vehicle in the show, the tanks, half-tracks, they were all American tanks and half-tracks, just painted up with a uh, Maltese cross on it and a swastika. And uh, also, they used the M-series trucks. And that's but you know, M series wasn't made till after World War II, but it was a great TV series. I loved it and s still watch a lot of it. So uh, next up will be a show called Combat. All right, now we'll talk about the TV series Combat. This here was probably the most accurate uh, TV series about World War II because, uh, you know, everything was just almost perfect in there. And uh, it, it first aired in October 1962 to March in 1967, and it starred Vic Morrow. And it was about the, about the lives of uh, a U.S. platoon fighting their way through Europe during World War II. And uh, Vic Morrill, like I say, he was the main character, but he died, he died a horrific death while shooting the movie The Twilight Zone. And uh, they was filming part of a, a Vietnam series for The Twilight Zone, and uh, somehow the uh, Huey helicopter crashed, and uh, Vic Morrill was too close, and one of the rotor blades on the helicopter had decapitated him. So that, that was a horrible death. But... Uh, that's available on uh, DVD. I have that also on DVD. And uh, you can watch a lot of these shows I'm talking about on YouTube. But, uh, you know, it's just great series, Combat. You know, I watch that, you know, probably two or three times a week. So if you get a chance, you know, just check out these shows. They, they, were, they were pretty good shows. And, uh, you know, like I say, like the ones like The Black Sheep are just, you know, just a bunch of Hollywood crap. But. A lot of good flying in it. If you like Corsairs like I do, that, that's what got me to like the Corsair the best. I absolutely love the F4U Corsair. All right. Well, you know, I hope you like this video, man. It was, it was different. But, uh, you know, it's, but uh, if you do like it, please hit the like button, ring that notification bell, and please subscribe to my channel. Until then, see you on the next video. Have a good week.